All right, welcome to day one of the Turkish Get Up Challenge. So this is gonna be uh, breaking down phase one of the Turkish Get Up. So we're starting on the ground on our back in this phase. So each uh, phase is gonna be broken down where I'm gonna show you the movement, you're gonna practice that movement, and then the next day there's gonna be some finer uh, technique points that we're gonna go over, and then the next day we'll add a little extra challenge, okay? now. Stay with whatever movement uh, you feel you need to at that moment. So let's say we move to phase two, but you feel like you need a little extra time at phase one, that's okay. Uh, uh, you know, Make sure that you feel confident in all these movements. So right now we're gonna start on the ground, go over the starting position for the Turkish get up. So I start on my back, okay? Make sure you have a, a decent surface that, surface that you're lying on. Uh, if you need to get a mat or something, you can get a mat. Uh, I wouldn't lay on a hard ground just because when you get up to your knees and your elbow and stuff, it might not feel the best for you. So I'm going to start here with my hands and my uh, legs together, my hands at my side, my arms at my side, and my feet together, okay? Now, this is not where you always have to start, but once you get into the Turkish get up, you'll be able to know right where you're going. But this is a good starting position. And then I think starfish, okay? Or even that beginning snow angel position here where I go out like that. So my legs come out a little bit away from each other and my arms go about 45 degrees out to my side. Then I'm gonna go right knee up and put that foot flat on the ground. Then here, right hand up. So whatever knee is up, that hand is gonna be up, right? Now, in the beginning, if it doesn't, if it's too much to put your hand up, you can always start just like this, but, be, but um, Get your hand up there be, you know, as, as quickly as you can because that's going to help set up for the next phases, okay? So bend, right foot down, whole foot on the ground, arm up or even arm to your side. Then this hand, I'm going to keep down here. You can either go palm down or on the side. And I'm going to come up onto my elbow, right? Come up onto the elbow. I'll show you that again. I come down, come up onto the elbow. That's the first part of phase one, up to the elbow and then down. Okay, so this is really amazing for core strength because I have to work my muscles that are diagonally right here to help pull me up and across. So here, up. Next, I'm gonna go up to my hand, okay? So I go up to my hand. Then I go down to my elbow, then I go all the way down up to the hand, or up to the elbow, excuse me, up to the hand, all the way down, all the way down. Now, a couple points that I wanna get into uh, on this one is I want, in this video is first, some tension. So I want you to brace your abs a little bit like you're bracing for a punch. So if I'm not, if I'm loose here, then I'm gonna probably bend here, okay, I'm gonna flex forward. It's not gonna uh, be as beneficial for me. Some of you might also notice that you do this, Okay, what that is is usually your hip flexors are trying to take over for your abs. So your hip flexors here are engaging before your abs, even if it's a, just a little bit before your abs, that they're pulling up and you're looking for, it's looking for that tension to bring you up into this position. So you can do a couple things. You can drive, think about driving your heels, okay, both heels down into the ground hard. Okay, and then brace your abs like you're bracing for a little punch in the stomach. Someone's give you a little tap in the stomach there. So I push down and come up to that elbow. Then same thing, push down, come up to that hand. Last thing I'm gonna show you here, and we'll get more in the next video, but this hand here goes back. It's like I'm squishing a bug underneath my palm. So I come here and then see my fingers go back if I'm like that, that's not gonna be, feel good for my elbow, for my shoulder or anything. So I want those fingers to go back. And then I come back down to the elbow and I come back down. Go in steps. So not here and then back down. I want you to go elbow, then hand, then elbow, then down. Switch sides. Go the other side, okay? So for the challenge for today is I want you to set a timer for five minutes uh, and practice those each side, just alternating one rep each side. So go right, all the way up to the hand, all the way down, then switch sides. 
Go all the way up to the hand, all the way down. Five minutes, don't think about the timer, just keep focusing on that. And if you got extra time, if you just get a little more in there, is you can do that again the same day. So later on in the day, maybe that evening before you go to bed, set a timer for five minutes again and practice, all right? So do that one to even three times. You got extra time, we call it greasing the groove, just getting it in whenever you can. So uh, that's the challenge for today. Come back tomorrow and we will break down a little more finer tuned points of that phase one. Train this golf strong.